In this video we are going to show you the link between Tecla structures and Idea Statica and how easy it is to import a connection in order to analyze it. For this we are going to use a real project from one of our clients that contains some really complicated connections that cannot be analyzed with any other traditional connection software. So as you can see we have a Tecla model, we have all the different connections defined here so you can see the complexity and we are going to use the idea connection tab that we have created uh, in Tecla structures we have created some macros there and we're going to use the macro idea CBFM and the next step is going to be the selection of the connection point meaning the node and all the members that are uh, part of that connection, all the members that are connected to that node. The last step is to select all the different elements that are part of this connection, so all the different bolts, plates, anything that is added to that connection. By right click, the software uh, asks for a project that needs to be created, an idea statica project. So we're going to name this Tecla to Idea and save it. After that, a project has been created and now Idea Statica will open automatically. And as you can see, we have the 3D model of the connection exactly as it was in Tecla structures. So everything has been imported successfully. We have all the different details, every bolt every plate everything that has been defined in Tecla structures has been successfully imported here of course we can do some modifications if we want so for example we can change the bearing member to a column in this example and the next step is to define some load effects so in this case uh, we are going to use just one but of course we can have several load effects that can be checked. So we are going to add some forces on the members, some normal forces in this case. As you can see the arrows represent the forces and maybe we can add some moments. So our connection is fully loaded now. So it is ready for the analysis. So for that we're going to go to check and click on calculate. Now the software performs a non-linear plastic analysis. And we have the results. So we have a basic graphical representation of the checks and as you can see everything almost everything is in grey that means that uh, grey color represents low stressed parts and the green color is representing uh, more significant uh, stresses. Uh, in this case uh, I'm going to increase a little bit the load so we can uh, visualize better the results and I'm going to run the analysis again. And now we have a model that is, as you can see, that we have more uh, parts in green. That means that uh, these parts are uh, significantly uh, stressed. And now we can go a little bit deeper into the results so we can see the equivalent stresses. So this uh, show us how exactly the stresses are distributed. Uh, we can also see the plastic strain. So all the different plastification areas. And we can also see the strain check.
So in this case, as you can see, everything has passed. So this connection is, is passing all the checks. Uh, but of course, we can also go deeper into the results. So we can go to plates tab and see all the individual plates. See all the checks. We can go to bolts and see all the individual bolts. Again, we can, of course, uh, enable the bolt forces. So we can visualize the, the direction of the forces. So we have a very detailed uh, analysis, detailed results to see exactly what is happening uh, in our connection. And of course we have the overall check which gives us uh, a very good idea of what parts of our connection are failing, what parts are passing the check. So with green uh, everything has passed. Uh, in uh, grey of course uh, as I mentioned earlier uh, these parts are low stressed parts and if we had a, uh, a part that would be in red that means that that part is actually failing. So we have a very good idea of how the connection is behaving.